Hey everyone, my name is Tom Clayson and I want to give you an update as to how I've been teaching online PE with some live sessions. So clicking it off, we're going to go into a PE scavenger hunt. Uh, I wanted to start the year off in a positive way. I wanted the kids to get to know me. Also, I get to know them a little bit. So I felt like a typical scavenger hunt is just super fun. So I put a little bit of a twist and added in a PE version of this. So I called this this or that. And with the activity, I give the kiddos about 30 seconds to complete the challenge before I click to click to the next slide. Uh, I always uh, bring up safety and uh, told the students to stick with their choice. So all I told them was to go find the object, point to it, and then come right back to the screen. So as you can see, first one, this one was kind of funny because uh, I said you can either go point to the computer or do jumping jacks. So a lot of kids were a little confused as to what their expectation was because they were already at the computer. So basically a couple of kids you could see pointing at their screen. A couple of kids got up and went and found a tablet or something else, but then it was cool to see the kiddos, of course, exercising through the jumping jacks. Uh, next one was a healthy snack or flutter kicks. Again, some of them showed me some of the food that they had. Uh, some just went and pointed and came back, and then all of a sudden you'd see a kid just jump out of the screen and get down and do some flutter kicks. So again, all good stuff. Uh, for this one, I put in my family photo. Uh, it was nice to see some of the kiddos bring up their family pictures. Um, and then, of course, you got to see the kiddos do some star jumps and stay active as well. For another activity, I did uh, balances and movements. Again, this was just something that I created. I was actually able to uh, start the, this week's activity off with telling the kiddos to keep their mics off. This is something that was a little bit challenging in the first couple weeks of school was just students understanding which way or how to come into class and kind of get the expectations rocking and rolling. So I put that in there. Uh, I told the students to do, make a choice and do one of the poses and, and see how long they could actually hold it. So this was one that was focusing on balancing and of course, controlling their body. So for this activity, we had three different levels. We had easy, medium, and hard. I told them to try one, and if it's too difficult to go down to a lower level. So here's an example of one of the slides that I used. Um, I got to get a, a huge shout out to Ben from the PE specialist. This guy has this on Teachers Pay Teachers, and I'll put it down in the link below too. Um, if you want to check that out, this is just a very easy thing that you guys could create a uh, movements or balances or any really any kind of activity for the students online. So again, thank you, Ben, for uh, having that and providing that for everybody. I took my own way of doing this as well, and I created some gifts on there as well. So you saw my easy, medium, and hard one, and I was able to create a couple different slides with this going on as well. The next activity that I created is a board game. Got this one, um, some inspiration from another online source. And so for rules of this game, play along with green, uh, th this game, find some open space and do the exercises correctly. And of course, focus on having fun. This is a very important thing for PE. So here's an example of how the game would start. I would click and just a new slide would pop up. So activity one, we do 12 crab kicks. Uh, jumping over after doing a couple other activities, I was actually able to add in some questions for the students as well. So like, what is the most important muscle in the body? So I'd have them either give me a one for heart or two for biceps. And of course the correct answer is the heart. So uh, continuing on as I clicked and went, it was kind of interesting for this week because I was able to see some of the parents kind of jump into the screen and you could see that the kiddos were trying to explain to them that, you know, for this one sit and spin, this is one that I thought was funny because you'd see the parents say, well, what are you doing? And then the parent, the kiddos would say, oh, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Anyway, um, thanks to all the parents who are out there watching and helping along too. Um, of course, whenever we finish, I encourage the kiddos to keep going and get their heart rates up and I hope they enjoy the activity. This one, I got to give a big shout out to my good friend, Coach H. Coach H, thank you so much for giving me some inspiration for this one. So I created a game called Deal or No Deal. And this is just one that I haven't quite tried out yet, but I'm, I'm very excited to do this with the students. So basically, um, a deal will pop up in the game and they will choose to take the deal and do the exercise or they have to wait for the no deal. So as you can see here, uh, the deal would be to march in place for 10 times or they have to wait for the no deal exercise, which would have been the sprinkler dance for 25 seconds. So anyway, um, running out of time here. Uh, what I want to show you was one more. This one was the two water, do two water bottle flips or take the no deal. And again, they would be able to do a different activity for that one. So hope a few of you have been inspired by this video. Get out, get active, and have a great day.